Okay, I recorded this video before, um, two days ago, but I missed out on a few things and didn't really talk about a few certain things that probably would have helped explain things a bit better, other than me just kind of saying it. I know this question is going to get asked. So with being transgender, obviously people are going to be curious and ask questions and I say, hey, it's okay to ask questions, I'll give information, blah, 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 blah. But also at the same time, um, people do need to be mindful that there are certain questions that are not really okay to ask unless I'm already talking about that stuff. And that's just because we're a bit closer and I'm just like, well, this is what is going to be happening. This is the progression of everything. I'm more just making it about facts and information and kind of explaining things on my part. So if I'm already talking about it, then that's fine. If I'm not, and it's just immediately brought up when discovered I'm transgender it's a, it's yeah <laughs> well like I said there are certain things that you don't ask but at the same time th think about it like think would you really ask somebody else this you know would you ask a complete stranger this or are you just asking this because I'm transgender and you're using the disguise of curiosity to ask a really personal question. So just kind of, kind of, kind of think about things for a while. This video isn't to be me nagging or mean or rude or anything like that. I just, I need to explain this and a few other things in more detail so that people kind of understand why these particular questions shouldn't really be asked when I don't know you unless I'm already talking about the topic and that's because I trust you and I know you. When, when, when I was little, I didn't really know what transgender was, but I did know that I was very different. I liked more... I guess stereotypical boyish things. Um, I went skateboarding and um, I was a bit clumsy and I did dress like more boyish and I do know because I've been told this that when I was like around three, four, about three, yeah, three, Nan started putting me in dresses and the moment I was put in a dress I immediately got grumpy and started crying and they just thought I was tired and that you know I was just tired fed up of being pushed around and all of that but the thing is when my mom put me back into my little onesie I was fine so yeah like I think for the family it should have been immediate like oh, okay don't keep trying to put dresses on them if they don't like it but Nan persisted because she's like she's a little girl wear dresses they're supposed to wear dresses and mom's just like well you know they're happy like this you know uh. so that was a thing and then as I got older, I had more boyish things, and then it was like primary school, and it was my first time there, and the toilets, and I think this is how a lot of other people kind of really discover this, the, the how uncomfortable it is, <laughs> just uh, um, boys side with the little men figure in the suit or whatever and then the girl side with the little person figure in like the dress or whatever and I went to the man figure because I was like yeah that's that's where I'm supposed to go these signs are pretty standard pretty obvious and just immediately the teacher's like you're not allowed to be in here 
you're supposed to be in the girls' toilets. You're a girl. You're supposed to be in there. And I was like, oh, oh, okay. Um, I thought I was supposed to be in here. And they're like, no, you're a girl. You're supposed to be in the girls' toilets. And I was like, okay. And I was kind of grounded for going into the boys' toilets. And that was a bad experience. Um, so for the rest of my schooling period, I decided to never, ever, ever go to the public restrooms unless it was an emergency. So I spent a lot of my school period just not going for the whole day. And that's not good. Like, that's not good for you. Like, it's really, really bad. Um, but like I said, it was only if there was ever an emergency. And then... I remember as well um, a few of my clothes that I really liked. They were a bit more boyish. They were fine. There was nothing wrong with them. But Nan threw them away. And then she told me to either go and get more feminine clothes or I would go to school without any and I'm changing what she said um, to make it um, more appropriate, I guess, for online. But that was that was hard. Like, um, I think that whole thing right there, um, after everything like before that, kind of shut me down, and. That's when I kind of tried to conform. When I couldn't, I just started wearing more androgynous clothing. And all the while just thinking that I was weird, there was something wrong with me. Um, like there was something more than just being weird about me. And that's just what I thought about myself. That I was just extremely different to everyone else. And that I just didn't fit in at all. Not the case now, so we're okay. I'm not trying to make this depressing. I'm really not trying to make this depressing. Um, and then I think when puberty set in, that kind of made things a lot worse. And I was like, why do I hate myself even more now that I'm going through this? Why am I crying every night while changes are happening? What is wrong with me? <laughs> But I didn't like the changes, so I understood why I was crying. Um, I didn't like the changes, and I didn't want anything like that to be happening, because I, d I wanted a beard. <laughs> I want my luscious beard. So, it was not a fun experience, but at the same time, I just thought there was something wrong with me, and that I was just an extremely emotional, over-the-top exaggerative child. So I think with anything, um, the longer you leave it, the worse it gets. So the older and the longer that it progressed, I guess, the worse it got and the worse I felt about myself. So and it's not like I was actively trying to just put myself down. I didn't like myself and I didn't know what to do because I didn't know how to change my thoughts or opinions on me. But at the same time, the best way I can describe how I feel is that I'm perpetually caught in puberty. But that's how I feel. Like, I'm just continually stuck. I'm, like, stuck in a thing that I just, I can't get out of. But there is a way to get out of it. And when my fiancé explained that he is, you know, like, a gender and stuff like that, um... Like when my fiance explained to me like all, all of that stuff, I went and also kind of some research, and then I was kind of like, oh, this really clicks. But for a little while, I was like repressing all of that because I was like, but all of that is viewed so badly and negatively, and I don't know what to do with myself because I already feel super freaking weird and just not okay with myself and I don't want to feel like I'm copying anyone in any way either because that is also a big fear of mine 
that I'm just continually copying people and I'm not being myself. We're going back to those questions again. Certain things make me really uncomfortable and anxious and sometimes I will have a panic attack and I have before and it's not fun. Um, it just kind of makes me uncomfortable. Like a lot of, a lot of sexual things make me really uncomfortable. Um, and I think that's just because I'm quite uncomfortable and not okay with myself. So, yeah. And my fiance is really good with that, and I'm really lucky that he is, because <laughs> I'm just like, ah, uh, I don't want to make this too ranty or anything like that. Um, but like that's how I feel, and. I know once I start testosterone and I start looking the way that I feel and picture myself in my head, which sounds weird, that I picture myself in my head, I will be a lot more comfortable, a lot more happier. I won't probably be as depressed about things. Like I still will suffer from depression and anxiety and that's going to be a thing, but I feel like it won't be as bad. Like, the stuff where I view myself negatively won't be as bad. And that's why I decided to do this, because I'm just tired of pleasing everyone else and makes me feel like sh crap. Crap. Um, it's not a swear word in Australia. It's not a swear word. <laughs> I don't want to do that to myself anymore because you can't please everyone you can't even when you try to there's still gonna be people who are like not impressed and that's just the way it is and I was like well I'm not pleasing anyone at all no matter how hard I'm trying no matter what I'm doing and I'm tired of it I'm really tired of it so why not be myself I'm so done like I'm my level of done is like here <laughs> like I'm just I'm done with it I can't it's been 24 years I need I need to live my life and I need to live and that's why I'm doing it it doesn't matter how many surgeries I'm getting or, or stuff I just want to be comfortable with myself. Yes, surgery is important for me, but the thing that is more important are the changes, the, the beard, the voice deepening, the hair, the fat distribution. I get there are negatives to that and I'm going to lose my hair at some point because thank you, family, for having that hereditary thing and I'm going to lose my hair. At least I'm going to keep my beard. I'm going to be a bald person with a beard. I'm okay with that. <laughs> That's why I'm doing this. And it was not easy. It was not an easy decision to just do. It wasn't easy. Like, it really wasn't easy. And that's the thing. Like, a lot of this... It's not easy. Like, it's not easy to kind of accept yourself and make the changes to do that I was like so nervous and shaking when I was calling the the doctor's clinic and and stuff like that and uh and then I was there and I was like oh my god this is happening uh so it's not been easy but I know in the long run and for the better that I will be a lot more happy and uh, like and even if it's hard and while I'm transitioning people aren't the most accepting that's okay because I'm gonna be happy so before anyone asks that initial question this is why okay okay thank you thank you for listening to this really long video by the way and hopefully see you all in a wingspan <laughs> bye, -bye. Wow.